Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hades. Check out how weird this shield looks. So this is the Zeus shield. Uh, it cost all of our purple keys. Hopefully it will be worth it. It's got a real strange appearance. So it has the, the same normal attack, the same, uh, the same dash, but when we hit Q, it does that instead of zooming out and... Okay, it looks like it, it stops eventually. I hit Q again and it comes back considerably faster. It's interesting. I mean, if we if we can buff up the damage of that, it can do a considerable amount of damage in a pretty large area, and if we get good at managing the distance here so that we can get it to stop in places that we want it to stop, you know, that's pretty cool. I don't know if, um... Well, let me see something here. Can I stop it early? No, I can pull it back, but I have no way of stopping it. And then while it's out, we can still attack, unlike the normal... Uh, normally, when you're doing the shield throw, you no longer have the shield to whack people with. So, it's interesting. It means that we don't really have a good, fast-moving, targeted ranged attack on our weapon, so we're going to be more reliant on our cast for that sort of thing. Uh, and we'll keep that in mind when looking at cast upgrades. And also, I don't really... I have no idea how to make best use of this, but if we're, if we're like, right up on somebody and we just throw it out, it's just, like, free damage, and if we're pushing them back with the shield, we can maybe keep it on them easily? I guess that's something. Now let's figure out what keepsake we want to take with us. Which to choose? We could keep trying to level up the Feather Duster. I mean, we're, we're going to play with Heat for the first time. I kind of feel like we want to take a boon that's going to give us something of value. Who's, whose buffs would be cool with this special? We probably don't want to take a Poseidon buff. We, we don't want it to push things back, right? We want stuff to stay in. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a god we know of who has a boon that allows you to, like, suck enemies in with a thing. We could take an- we could force an Athena boon and try to get a deflect on it, and then we could just, like, use it as cover. Honestly, we might already be able to use it as cover since attacks destroy projectiles. It might- it's constant pulsing might destroy projectiles. So maybe that's not necessary. Uh, Aphrodite... We don't have Zeus's keepsake. I bet Zeus would be a good one here. Yeah, we'll have to fix that. Although, I, I do think I'm going to try to save the next Ambrosia for uh, Nyx, because she's having a rough go of things. If we could get it to constantly reapply Doom on people, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's take the, uh, let's take the Blood-Filled Vial. We can level this thing up on our way to, uh, on our way down to the flames. Alright. So, we need one Heat. Each rank of Hard Labor... Makes foes deals plus 25% damage. This makes health restoration less effective. I'm looking for the one that is least painful. 20% additional foes in standard encounters. This honestly doesn't sound so bad. Extreme measures is not available to us. Plus one support sister to the final encounter in Tartarus. Huh. Unauthorized. I am not allowed to press that button. 15% uh, extra health. I'm assuming that this applies to bosses as well. Plus one elite foe per each type in mini-boss encounters. Why does this have... I guess it's just like plus one foe, but it, it could just say... Yeah, it could, it could be like this, where it's just a number that increments. I don't know why it needs an icon. Sacrificing boons. That's a little... A little terrifying. One more problem to worry about in the final encounter in Asphodel. Let's not with that. Uh, each rank makes your foes move and attack faster. Reduces the mirror's maximum benefit. Interesting. So you can get a uh, you get a cap on your mirror value. I don't know what our mirror is currently valued at. Hold on. That right there might be... Um, it might not actually reduce our strength at all. I just completely missed the walkway. I was looking at my other monitor. <laughs> Do we have an easy indication of what we've spent? Not really. Uh, does my scrying pool let me see that? Nope. That one might not actually have any effect. If it does have an effect, I don't know how it works. Like, is it just the first 3,000 that you spent is what remains? Uh, each rank gives your foes one blue heart, which makes them ignore an instance of damage. Honestly, that doesn't sound so bad either. 
reduces your choices when you get boon upgrades, and reduces time to clear each underworld region. Interesting. So I'm, I'm assuming you just lose if you don't make it out in time? I think... Let's do this. Because I'm thinking we ju we did just like plow over a thousand darkness into the mirror over the last couple of runs. We might well be above 3,000. I don't know. But I think this doesn't sound so bad. Just the first hit you do to each enemy is just shrugged off. It doesn't seem like a big deal. Let's try it. Choose any conditions, fill heat gauge to one, get out. What could go wrong? We can maybe do this. We can certainly try to do this. What exactly is it, boy, that makes you feel entitled to show me such disrespect? You dare not say such things to Mother Nix. It's the killing me. It's the thing where you kill me. That's what makes me disrespectful. Nix, give me strength. Also, kind of your whole, like, facial hair situation is bad. I don't know if that's intentional or... This shield's about to get a whole lot stronger. Okay, special deals damage to foes nearby when you catch it, which is kind of whatever... Bullrush instead fires a piercing shot that deals 70 damage. I mean, I was saying we don't really have a good way to deal with ranged enemies. This could be interesting. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of range. Okay, there's, there's something to that. Get him, shield. I mean, the damage is alright. I cannot, I cannot reverse its direction. Once I pulled it back, it is going to come back to me no matter what. Okay, considerable pushback on the bull rush shot. It's definitely interesting, the sort of a ranged shield build. I mean, I guess you, you often do ranged shield builds, because the shield throw is, is ordinarily pretty cool. I'm really eager to test whether this thing obliterates projectiles or not. We gotta, gotta find some projectile enemies. Wow. That was an easy room. The sort of thing you love to see when you have uh, the plume. Definitely taking the Ares buff since we have the increased rarity, although I'm not happy about skipping an Artemis because, obviously, crit is awfully nice. Who's first? Okay. Throw it out. I didn't really do that in a very... Here. Let's try that again. Okay, it does just obliterate projectiles, so it is already effective as cover. And I have a, now a variety of ranged attacks. Honestly, I wonder if the piercing shot is maybe best off when we've used all of our casts already. It does do more damage than the cast does. And I guess it has the piercing. So there's, um, there's some value for, like, firing into crowds of enemies. And it actually covers, it covers a pretty wide area. You have the shield of chaos, Aegis. Quite unlike the one my good sister Athena likes to flash around. You have much better taste. Well, I can't really take a lot of ta- like, it literally was the only shield I had access to. Oh, that's interesting. So this is the lowest rarity version of the special, like, th this is the thing we wanted. But it's the lowest rarity version of it, and I wonder if we should maybe pass on it now and try to get lucky later. We can't necessarily assume that we'll see him again. So maybe that's foolish. And we could always just hope to be able to upgrade the rarity of it if we can find uh, Eurydice. It feels, feels kind of bad to take it, but I also don't actually think Blade Dash is great. I'm going to take it. It's me or them. It'll certainly help us get through the first part of the game more quickly. And with hopefully less stupid damage. Alright, so let's test it. Okay, that guy doesn't have enough health for me to really really get a sense. What I'm, mostly what I'm curious about is how effective it is at um, reapplying the Doom. Does it move through them too quickly to put up a second charge? Trying to step through that and um, trigger the trap it didn't quite work out. I'll just 
take that. Cool. Five entire gemstones. Uh, yeah, money versus centaur heart is not an actual choice. Well, this is feeling all right so far. That's not really the direction I wanted to throw that in. There we go. You want to die again? Shield comes back considerably fast. Man, I really thought I was uh, pointed toward him. Apparently not. Remember what I was saying about the stupid damage? This is just illustrative. That's all. I was. I was trying to. I was trying to really show you what I was talking about. When I say stupid damage, this is what I mean. I don't know that we have enough money to go to the real shop. There's only darkness in the other direction, though. Like, all we could get here is a boon. I I'm just going to use the well, and we'll go to the darkness thing. Ooh. We can't buy all of it. I think I'm going to skip out on the hydrolite. I'll take this one. I wonder if the chaos thing is considered a boon. Like, if the yarn will affect it. Be interesting to find out. Get him! Ah, you're doomed! That's, you know, that's doing something. Actually, it's, it's really working. It's pretty effective. Screw that guy. That guy dies first. Alright, let's go... Oh, man. There's a high-value boon over there, but we can't skip the Chaos Gate. I think that would be very silly. How much damage are we talking about here? 22? That's not even... That's not even enough to be concerned about. Oh, I thought that was a sparkle indicating that I could examine it, but right, it's just stars, you know. I feel like they can just keep on thinking that. I'll never get out of here if not for their help, but I can't let them know about Mother. She wants to remain hidden from them. Oh yeah, that too. In a difficult position to be in, son of Hades, even Hades may not appreciate me in this land. But you can trust that I shall keep your secret. I wish to see how your predicament plays out. I'm not gonna screw up your stuff because I think it will be funnier this way. I mean, I guess that works for me. Uh, for the next four encounters, you can't make money, but a bunch of bonus damage on the special. I mean, we're talking about a pretty small... It's dealing pretty small amounts of damage now. And I don't believe that that bonus will apply to the Doom damage. A big bonus on the dash attack is, is also interesting. Um, an attack damage bonus will affect the, the Bull Rush. So I might want to do this. Minus 31% move speed, I think, I think is okay. I think we can deal with that. This is a larger number. But I also, like, I, I kind of don't want to be locked out of earning money. I, I think I'm going to take Slothful Strike. We'll power up our, uh, power up our shot. Wow, you really feel that immediately. That's, <laughs> that's a lot slower. That's alright. I never walk anywhere anywhere in combat. We'll just, uh, just dash everywhere. I'm sure it hasn't slowed my dashing. So the first instance of damage being blocked doesn't really do almost anything now that we have the shield working the way we have it because uh, the doom is not locked and that's doing all the damage also just in general this would this would work pretty well because they uh, the individual instances of damage are so small Come on. just trying to destroy that without getting caught by the lasers Clear the crowd up a little bit here. Hey, that was pretty handy. 
That was ill-advised. It's a shame this doesn't count as a separate encounter for the for the sake of our chaos buff. Really thought I was uh thought I was dodging there. So it seems like it's pretty hard to get the Doom to hit people multiple times. Unless I can get the uh, get the shield to stop on them, in which case it's just going to reapply infinitely, which is pretty cool. Oh, wait a second. If I throw it in such a way that it hits a wall, it comes back to me immediately instead of stopping at the wall. That's a shame. That would, be, that would have otherwise been a really good way to keep it on top of somebody redoing them over and over. Well, the redoing people over and over thing will still probably work well on, like, the Hydra. I can't, I can't think of too many other enemies where it'll, it'll have much effect, unfortunately. Boy, I sure am making this look difficult. second there. I thought the, uh, the big dude's charge was gonna trigger the trap and get me shot. That's a pretty cool, um, it's a pretty cool prep tool. Just throw it over top of where enemies are about to spawn and let it, let it line up the doom. Ah! I <laughs> very nearly got myself hit there. Alright, All right, let's hope we find some more uh, opportunities to pick up Ares Boons, then. That's not what I was looking for. Is there a thing that we would want knockback on, really? I mean, I guess we could take it on the cast? I don't remember what he does to your cast, aside from making it knock people back, because he loves it when people are knocked back. I knocked them out of it there, prevented the redoom. I mean, this is this is working. It takes a little bit more focus than my usual plan of just dash at them and mash mouse one. Nope, go that way. Okay. There we go. Oh, that didn't, I didn't hit him before it got back to me, huh? Also, screw this guy and his dropping three bombs directly on my face. That was a lot of damage. There's nothing stronger than the scene if you neither above it nor below. And if you are in need of further proof, behold, the greatest of my blessings just for you. All right, show me something great. Okay, pretty great, actually. Attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. I mean, it already knocks people away pretty hard, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to uh, to take this. There's some chance that by taking this, I'm going to make it so that I'm pushing people out of the shield throw by hitting them, but I'm, I'm thinking about it mostly in terms of um, the shot. We could just take Sunken Treasure. Uh, I'm not doing super well in health because of badness, so that would help me uh, help me recover a little bit. And then also, you know, all that money could be useful. Or an early Ocean's Bounty, which is certainly good. It's just, I'm, I think I want Tempest Strike. I think I want Tempest Strike and to just, like, start doing a better job. One more encounter left with the lowered move speed. I hope that we are not about to do Meg. Please tell me there's at least one more room left. Okay. Man. Alright, well, I guess I'll take the... I'm not happy about either of these rewards. We should, we should unlock the last red key no thing. Here. This is not an encounter. We're going to end up getting stuck with this for the boss fight, aren't we? Okay, no. Centaur. Or Achilles. Not Achilles, sorry. Sisyphus. Uh, let's take the Centaur Heart, both because Centaur Heart is good and also because uh, Sisyphus is not an encounter. What? Not in the way that Chaos means, certainly. For long enough. Okay, so this is one of the survival survival ones. These are not too bad, usually. Okay. 
have to kill anything, but obviously my life gets a lot easier if some of these guys are dead. Actually, they, this is occurring in a large enough room that I'm not sure it's going to end up mattering. Look at that, it's right on top of them. Stupid guy dashing out of it. I was going to let it just doom them over and over again. Okay, well this has turned out alright, especially considering the, like, there are definitely rooms where this could have happened oh, where our lack of move on. speed would have been a problem. That actually went really well. Um, hmm. 192 gold, huh? It's possible that we would find some money in the shop and we could get, like, boon and food or maybe a hammer or something, but I... I think it's still the case that we're just too low on money to want to take the shop over a straight-up boon. I should have checked the well. Yeah, not not taking the well was bad. What shall we do here once you finally arrive? Perhaps we could go out and meet some mortals. I know all too many maidens and or noble gentlemen who'd absolutely love to get to know you. All right. Uh. 2,500 damage maximum. I mean, that's a that's a lot of flat damage. We can make enemies pulse weak at each other. I don't like Wave of Despair. We should probably have a call. I feel fabulous. And now it is boss time, and we managed to uh, manage to shed our boon penalty none too soon. All right, let's remember to use the shot. Oh, there you are. Just as I was beginning to think it's been too long since last I killed you, Zag. Admit it, Meg. You can't stop thinking about me. Don't flatter yourself. I think of you in pain. And now there's no more need for the imagination. Listen, I'm not gonna kink shame her. Okay, I mean, that was some damage. It was not exactly great. One thing that would be really good for us is if we could figure out how to, um... How to get the shield to stop right on top of her when she's doing her ranged attack. Or even this. I mean, just like applying multiple, uh, multiple dooms is probably the best thing we could hope to do here. She's running right on top of the shield, but she's impervious the whole time. That's very frustrating. That could have been so much damage. Take that, Meg. Shield takes a while coming back to you, huh? I've right, got some good wall slam damage. Even though she doesn't seem to move very much when you hit her, uh, you still you still get credit when you're close to the wall. I mean, that's, that's doing pretty good damage now. It doesn't feel like it when it hits Meg, because it barely moves her health bar, but it's it's an okay amount. Yeah, I really cornered myself pretty badly there. Didn't really have a plan when I, uh, when I dashed in. <clears throat> okay. And we're doing a good job here. We're controlling the ads. Everything's fine. I'm not using the, um, the call yet because I'm a little worried that in this fight in particular, it might just um, it might not do any damage to anything that matters. Like it might it might seek in on a random bad enemy that we don't care about and waste all of the damage. I can't believe that hit me. I'm, I'm embarrassed for myself, frankly. Ah, why does she have to do this every single time I settle down to Bull Rush? Okay, I think I got her with it. It's coming. <laughs> It'll get back to me eventually. Ooh. Every single time, literally every time, I uh, I planted my feet to set up a bull rush shot. How 
I'll just tuck that away. <laughs> she started summoning garbage under me. Alright, uh, did we get this? We did not. I think that was the only one I saw. That fight went really well. I think I took less damage there than I have uh, any other time we fought her. It feels like a good build. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't. It, it doesn't quite have the. You're um, not permitted to leave, Tartarus. Got to keep going. Yeah, I'm not permitted to do anything. It feels like. It doesn't have quite the same like crazy synergies as we had like on the run where we won the game, where it's just like this attack is doing an absurd amount of damage and it's great at everything. But it's it feels good. Okay. Definitely taking the Light of Ixium. I think we probably can skip out on the Eye of Lamia. My concern is that I might not take enough damage during the next three encounters to get my money's worth here. And then we probably want to change this out for something else, right? I mean, we could we could hope for more Ares boons, but why don't we try to force an Artemis? I would love to see some crit damage or like an Ares Artemis duo boon. I bet that would be really cool. Go with that one. Your doom can crit or something would be amazing. Going up. We probably can't get yes. a duo boon because we don't have. I, I bet you have to have at least one boon of each of the gods already. So the fact that we don't yet have an Artemis probably means that we can't get a duo. But this will be how we uh, how we change that. Oh, good, more gemstones. I'm so nervous now about running too close to the edge of the dock and taking damage from the lava. Okay, I think I got her. Nope. Well, I mean, maybe I got her, but I didn't get her enough. That's a shame. It's a shame that that does not wipe out projectiles the way the bull rush does. Yeah, these guys are going to be a real pain in the ass to hit with the shield. Ow. Remember when I was all like, I probably won't even take enough damage to whatever, blah, 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 you know. Who laughed? Just admit it, be honest. Who among you heard that and went, come on, you get a little a little big for your britches here. Because I am now realizing that I that I have been too big, that these britches don't fit me at all. What, did somebody buy these in the children's section of the of the britches store? What do you buy? What are britches? Britches are pants? I think. Oh, we're definitely going this way. What am I talking about? I don't even know. Eurydice. Someone there? Hello. All right, so we are probably buying uh, an increase to the rarity of our Welcome current boots. Royal Majesty, you're back. Well, see you later. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Up to two random boons of yours are upgraded to the next rarity. We don't have that many boons, so there's a pretty good chance that this will hit the the Doom special. Refreshing Nectar has a greater overall effect, but also the Doom on our special is potentially really good. Maybe we should just take the Refreshing Nectar, because rarity is good. More, a larger number of rare boons is maybe worth more. I'm gonna... yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. Really hit the spot. All right, well, we should get a good Artemis boon, at least. If we ever find it. Okay, we are we are getting multiple dooms off on the crystals because they don't move around. Boy, that's a really considerable amount of knockback. And honestly, the range on it is not that bad. It was nice of him to jump into it a bunch more times. Ah, don't dash into the lava. The lava is not actually better than getting hit by the enemy projectiles. I think I got bamboozled there a little bit by, um, by the wave shooting guy getting moved between his two waves. Yeah, see, there's no animation on the second wave cast. 
And it's not a big deal if he's if he's standing there still in the animation from the first wave cast, then you know what direction and everything it's going in, but uh, I'm getting surprised a little bit when I when I reposition him between shots. The underworld's power. Okay, 258 is enough money to shop, or we could go get a Zeus boom. Do I hold on, am I misremembering? The next boon you find will be from Artemis. Did we miss it? I mean, I'll take the Zeus boon. I probably want an, a boosted rarity Zeus rune or Zeus boon over a shop with 250 gold, right? Oh, here's the Artemis boon. Well, we want the we want the super boosted Artemis boon. I think. I just didn't realize how many uh, how many rafts there were. Yeah, let's go this way. Show me some kind of massive crit chance bonus. I didn't didn't quite get it. I'm trying to trying real hard to get that settled on her. Would you please drop? Yeah, I think we got it. I'm just gonna leave that there to doom you over and over while I run around like an idiot. Oh, I got too close to her and picked it up. You don't you don't have to press the button. If you touch it, you also get it. Let's see if we can um a little bit of trouble getting it back onto her. I had to go in for the additional damage. Couldn't just leave well enough alone. Well, that's a bad that's a bad time to get hit by that. I dramatically overshot her. This um this version of this room with the not this version, it's always the same room. But um the positioning of the fire effects on the ground has been really brutal this time, is what I'm trying to express. It's definitely making things more difficult. Oh, interesting. I can't get the shield to go over there anymore. It got to the edge of the land and came back. Okay, I think I managed to... Uh, she's almost dead. I think I can finish her with, sh with casts. Okay, cool. Ow! Dick. Oh, wait. Throw, throw better. Do better throw. Casts back. Okay, well. So here we, we definitely just want to, like, throw the shield at him while meleeing him. Even though the shield and your attack are unlinked by this, uh, this aspect, it is still the case that you cannot throw the shield during your attack animation. <laughs> That's too far away. Alright, well, we got him anyway. Pretty bad. Took a lot of damage. Uncle Poseidon blessed you, didn't he? To think that big fat oaf is your own father's brother. I'm told to be respectful near him, but it's hard. I think this is why she spends a lot of time away from everybody, right? Uh, attack, cast, and special spawn an additional seeking shot. Hey! First of all, I think this is better than, we, uh, than, than I was giving it credit for last time. But also... I wonder if it will shoot a special uh, seeking shot just when we throw the special, or on every one of its pulses. I guess I can't really tell because it doesn't it doesn't do them at all when there are no enemies. Because if it shoots it on each pulse, that could be really good. If it only shoots it when you throw it, then obviously uh, <laughs> it goes probably all the way over to really bad. Yeah, it's only doing it on the uh, on the initial throw. That's a shame. I mean, it's still it's still good off of our attack, although we don't we don't attack quite as fast with this weapon as we do with many of the others. You know what? It's only um, it's only triggering the shot off of stuff that actually makes contact. So uh, I can't. It looks like it's only spawning one seeking arrow off of the off of the shield throw when it makes contact with an enemy for the first time during the throw. That's a shame. But I mean it would be pretty wildly overpowered if it did spawn them on every pulse of the shield. I was just hoping we'd found something there. Okay, money versus centaur heart is even less of a question than it normally is, on account of us having 315 money already. 
We are going to have a ton of health this run. Anyone there? There we go. This is a weird little area. Right, it, it is actually strange that there's nobody here. It's kind of unsettling. I took... I took damage from the lava after I had hit the button to get on the boat because he didn't start animating That's right away. Mate. That's annoying. Okay, I'm down for another Artemis buff. Sounds good to me. Looks like there's no, uh... No loot to be had here. Hey, Kieran, I'm an Asphodel now, aren't I? I'd always heard this was some flower-covered meadow-type place, not such a terrifying hellscape. <sighs> well, you know, late-stage capitalism makes fools of us all. Couldn't agree more, mate. All right. You know, one thing I'll say for Charon there, he doesn't talk too much. And since neither do you, I'm letting you have this. All right, well, she just doesn't spend enough time around us. Uh, pressure points, right? Your cast seeks foes is actually pretty good. A 10% chance for a crit. Oh man, but this is this is the purple version of pressure points and the crit is just so good. I am also doing the dash attack a fair amount. It's not as obvious with this weapon cuz it doesn't look different from the normal attack, but this is this is something. I think we have any damage you deal has a chance to be critical, can apply to the doom, and I, I think we have to take this. I want true shot, but I think we gotta take this. We'll just hope to see more uh, more boons from her in the future. And I guess we'll take the dark, it's only 11 darkness. I'm just gonna save my money, I think. And here comes the Hydra fight. Onward. I have, maybe I shouldn't, but I have high hopes for this fight. I think we, we should be able to do a pretty good job here. The fact that he's pretty much stationary is going to help with the Doom. And maybe you should go back over. No, the shield went too far. Okay, I did that pretty much correctly. He seems to be taking damage from it repeatedly. Yeah, wow, that, that was actually a really fast first phase. Okay, green. Green is the adds. Hey, it helps if you if you actually throw the thing. Yep, green is green is he shoots little fires. Green might be the ads. Yeah, it is because they're both both of the existing heads are green. That's not such a bad one, honestly. Yeah, I like the um, I like the support fire. I was too hard. I was too hard on it before. It's not even really correct to say. This is not like I tried it and I thought it was bad. I did not correctly assess its value before. Alright, thanks for the hell berries. It also helps. Um, that's pretty good. My shield did everything in its power to prevent me from getting hit by that attack. Nothing can stop me from getting hit by that attack, but the shield, it tried. Legitimately tried. That's exactly where we want that. Wow! That was a big crit! That was a huge crit! Ah! Dash cooldown. Okay, purple and reds. The reds are the wave heads, which I think have to be a high priority. I get hit by that wave thing a lot. Okay, I still have one food jar left. Alright, he's dead, I think. You know, the shield could come back to us a little faster. Why did I dash that way? Why would I do that? You know, I love the wave so much, I just I want to get hit by it over and over and over again. Okay. I'm absolutely fine with Greater Call just killing that one head. That is an, that is an acceptable use for it. Because I am extremely good at getting hit by the waves, for some reason. Yeah, Support Fire is actually extremely good. Well, now we know.
Ow. I'm sorry, shield. It goes to such such great lengths to protect me, and I just can't I can't take advantage of it. The thing I am impervious to is people trying to help me. Good advice. Okay, we actually managed to get rid of one before the others spawned. Ah, fire. Okay, hold on. This guy's priority. Ah, uh, there's two reds, and they're both on this side. I hate that. You know, the Hydra heads, they just kind of like, they make roary animations a lot. Sometimes they're casting stuff, but sometimes they're just roaring to be big scary monsters. Ah. Enough. Enough projectiles. Please die. Okay, there we go. I will say that a downside of support fire is that it causes there to be a lot of a lot more stuff happening on the screen. Damn it, it I wasn't controlling ads properly before using my greater call and it did hit, just hit a single skeleton. Something we gotta be wary of. In a lot of the situations where we're getting to greater call, we're not gonna have that problem after this point because of uh, like in the Theseus fight, I'm fine with it hitting whoever. Okay, I think we've I think we've got him from here. Is he about to? Uh, yeah. Let's make sure we're far enough back. This is a good build. It feels like a good, strong build. I just gotta stop planting my feet and getting hit by dumb stuff. Enough. I felt Aegis shudder. Okay, uh, we did get the... yeah, we did get the other health. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go back to fall. I mean, the thing doesn't completely refill you. You are testing my patience. Good. Okay, it's a pretty significant portion of your overall health. Uh, we definitely want some yarn. I don't think I'm going to take the Prometheus Stone. And then, do we actually want to swap our boon? Or our keepsake, rather. Or do I want to keep trying to... It, it kind of seems like they... It guarantees the next boon, right? But it also kind of seems like they uh, make it more likely to find more boons from the same god. And I guess I don't really have any hard evidence of that. Maybe it's just me remembering, you know, confirmation bias or whatever. But I sure would like to find more Artemis uh, boons. I guess. Hold on. We could go for Athena. We could go for Poseidon. We could force an Aphrodite. This might be the time to just start taking boons that improve my ability to fight, because we might need them. Uh, we could push the Feather Duster. Try to Try to get this to max. Yeah, let's do that. We'll we'll level up the feather duster while hopefully benefiting from it. Take me up. And check. And we have two rarity increasers left uh, for our next boon. We have the yarn and we still have one uh, one of your Eurydice, Eurydice's drinks. So Defeat fingers crossed easy. that we get something really really high rarity. I'm looking for, I don't know, heroic, something like that. Uh, we have a lot of pretty decent boons that we could stand to have upgraded, but we also don't quite have enough money to go to the shop. Not enough money to feel like I want to go to the shop anyway. So maybe we should go... I'm actually pretty torn here. Obviously this means I don't respect the pomegranate very much. Yeah, let's go to the pomegranate. Okay. And a Chaos Gate. Pretty happy to see that. This is actually working really well. Oh, it comes back automatically after a little while. Ready, Aegis. 
Yeah, I was wondering when the bad part was gonna come. Sometimes when you try to charge up the bull rush, he just attacks repeatedly with the shield. Like he, th he thought you were holding down the trigger on your shield, because that's the thing shields have. The power of the gods. I do like more damage on the Doom. 1% more chance to critical also is extremely... I'm going to take this one. Excellent. That's too good. The crits are so powerful. Oh, that's not um. Never mind. That's not a Chaos Gate. That's one of those things. Well, that's very disappointing. Hammer over money is not even a question. Can I have this big crystal egg, please? No? He just wants to show it to me. It's like when the dog walks into the room with the with the toy in her mouth, and you're like, oh, do you want to play? She's like, nah. Just turns back around. I just needed you to see that I have the toy and you don't have it. Yeah, this shield thing is actually... Uh, really working out, in my opinion. And then he didn't even get hit by the arrow. Hooray! The, um... The Artemis boon, the support fire, also plays really well with, with the, uh, extra damage, uh, the, the first instance of damage against enemies being cancelled, because every... Every attack is actually two attacks, so you're guaranteed to get something out of each hit, even when you uh, ordinarily should not be getting anything. It's just like a really powerful run. I think we've got a great situation built up here. Where'd that food... Did I walk over that food while I still had full health? I think I did. It's just That's a shame. I, need. Uh, I mean, Sudden Rush and Minotaur Rush are both very interesting. We gotta take the Minotaur Rush, right? I think so. Where's so where's the where's the timing? Okay. There it is. Got it. Okay. Show me some more food. I wasted the I, I wasted the last one. Foolishly, please. Alright, well, it looks like I do not get seconds. 223 gold. We're basically just buying a boon here, right? Is that, is spending money for a boon better than getting a pomegranate for free? I'm going to say no. And at some point we are we are going to get another boon and actually cash in some of this, uh, some of these rarity increases, presumably. Stop, stop doing that. It's just a lot of, a lot of dashing around and being a gnomus call. I mean, not a, because that's a different thing, you know what I mean. They are the Gnome Skulls, and I am the Nimrod. But like, the, the original meaning of that reference, not the Bugs Bunny one that everybody knows. Okay. Support Fire's great. I don't know if I've made it clear enough how much I've come around on Support Fire. I really, really like it. I really want that um, that homing cast. I so dearly hope we can find another Artemis boon. Oops, that's not a good thing. Don't stand next to that. Also, stop stop running away. It's unbecoming. You're kind of immortal, sort of. Just act like it. Okay, for a minute there, it looked like I was going to come out of this room at full health. Delicious. I am also totally forgetting to use my call. Uh, more damage on the Doom. Probably more damage on the Doom. Especially since, um, you know, flat. this is flat damage, not a percentage increase, so we know it is increased multiplicatively by crits. Better. That's pretty good. Uh... I hesitate only because there's a Light of Ixion available. But the thing is, we have so much bonus health, it, it would be crazy not to take Kiss of Sticks here, right? I just really like the Chaos Gates. Yeah, I, I think it would be wrong not to take this, though. Alright, show me food. 
It is a little bit of a shame that this particular keepsake encourages you to do this tedious cleanup act. I guess it's thematically fitting, though. Right? This is the one we got from Dusa. Her whole life is tedious cleanup acts and swooning. That's an interesting choice. This is maybe the only, uh, Ares, this is maybe the only boon that would have given me pause faced with uh, Artemis. I think we're, we're going to go for the Artemis. We're hoping for that cast upgrade. We certainly don't want Ares' cast upgrade, because it's the same thing as our shield already does. I was really hoping we could find the right distance on this one. So if we get the shield anywhere near the butterfly orb, it does devour all of the butterflies, though, which is pretty cool. There we go. We got him just sitting on it. Getting doomed over and over again. Damn it, let's come back. That is by far the smoothest that has ever gone. I mean, it's not over yet, obviously, but... That part of it. Ah, oh, I think I pushed him out of the way of the shield coming back. Ow, I keep dashing directly into that, thinking that I will go through. I'm just not standing far enough back. Oh, right, I should probably actually kill the eye, huh? How dare you. Yeah, massively better than that. And once again, I did not use my call at all, but that is massively better than that room has ever gone for us. This run rules. Uh, man, no cast upgrade. Your god gauge charges faster when you deal critical damage. That's definitely interesting. I think I'm going to take the hunter dash. Because like I said, I'm, I'm doing the dash attack all the time. Aha! Gold. Sweet, sweet gold. Uh, key versus darkness. I guess we take key. I would like to get to the point where we can use our keys just to unlock chests in the run for money. Let's try to accelerate that process. The homing shot doesn't quite have the turning radius necessary to get its job done there. I hope you see what I'm talking about uh, when I said that I'm a little concerned about the amount of visual garbage that is being put on the screen by this, uh, the support fire. Damn it. it... The Aphrodite arrow went to the newly spawned eye, which had an instance of damage reduction rather than the guy. It's a thing I gotta keep in mind here. Oops, that's not how you dash away from stuff. I got hit by that charge pretty much through that wall. I'm annoyed by that. Oh my god, please just die. What now? I suppose I could be using that call for the charm and not just the damage. But, like, the moment I see they're no longer fighting me, part of my brain goes, This is the moment of weakness! Get him! Ooh, a trove trial that restores health is definitely compelling. There is also a well of Karen here. Hold on, let me... Let me see if I'm gonna get some food. Nope. Centaur Heart versus Double Boon. That's also very interesting. Alright, let's take this. We will not do the Trove Trial. Trove Trials that restore health. Definitely definitely an exciting idea. And then we are going to take the... I have four lives left, so this is like... Three hearts worth of health. But also two boons. You know those boons that are like double boons? And then, and neither one of them are the ones that I want for my cast. But there's lots of other stuff we could get. And they'll be higher rarity. I think we gotta take the double boon. 
I do. Uh, I do so love a good centaur heart, though. I kind of hate dealing with the Aphrodite effect, so I'm, I'm gonna take hers. In the name of Hades. Uh, we don't want Scattershot. So I guess I'm taking Life Affirmation? That's pretty disappointing. I mean, Heartbreak Strike is okay. What's the, um, 55%? It's a, that's a huge increase in damage. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Playing me against each other, aren't they? The word of caution, little nephew. Never turn your back against the sea. And while you're at it, never take up sides against your greatest uncle. Okay, his thing is just tridents coming up through the ground, right? I think I can deal with that, maybe. Actually, he's not, um... That is not happening. We're just get we're getting like unpredictable water splashing effects, unfortunately. Unpredictable is my least favorite kind of predictable. I went and took that power shot ability for my bull rush, and then I haven't actually used it at all since. It's just like, in this part of the game, things are very hectic, I feel like. And maybe that's true because I'm making it true? Alright, you, help me out here a little bit. Is he helping? I can't tell. It's too hectic. Come on, die! Man. I feel like I've been hitting this eye not taking any damage. Like, way beyond the threshold where that should be a thing that's happening. They don't seem all that charmed to me. Oh, I can't stay angry. Let us call all that unpleasantness back there water under the bridge. What say you, nephew? You know, he's capricious. Uh, well, I mean... I don't want to take Poseidon's aid, and I don't think Ocean's Bounty is very good at this point in the game. And we don't have a cast buff. But I don't really... I mean, it doing area damage I guess is fine. I don't really want it to knock them away. Okay, well, anything that's not gemstones. That was a pretty disappointing room, if I'm being honest. Okay, that makes up for it. That event is just rare enough that every time it happens, it feels good. Okay, darkness over gemstones, definitely. Maybe the only thing I would take darkness over. Hmm, I definitely hit Q, I don't know why the shield didn't come out. That's a lot of damage, man. Ow, really? Huh, apparently that didn't, uh didn't actually hit him. I pulled it back too early, I guess. I really do hate the splitter guys. And remember, I also have an upgraded cast. We have a lot of buttons that we can press to make people die. It's just a matter of remembering which death is the right one at any given moment. Ooh. Yeah, not going ideally. Would love it if I just take less damage. But we still have all of our lives and everything. That's a good sign. Um, I have another room of Hydrolite. 
Should we do a trove trial in here? I mean, as far as as far as rooms in this part of the game go, this one's pretty gentle, it feels like. There's not a ton of traps. I just gotta stay away from the wall. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, might as well. My coffers are not yours for pillaging. You lot, huh? I see you say that, but there's a little bit of ludonarrative dissonance there, man, because that's the only thing we've seen them be used for. What do you think about that? Okay. Got rid of the chariot. Figured that was going to be an important thing to do early with these archers. The sooner we can get to the part where I can be paying attention to what the archer is doing and thus not getting shot in the back, the better. Huh, useless. That was actually a remarkably small number of enemies for a trove trial. Alright, and there's a well of Karen over here that hopefully has some food in it. Yeah, life essence. That will do. Do we want any... Uh, nah. No, 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 no. We don't need any of that garbage. Okay, so we're going to a... Going to a money room. I mean, after this, we should have enough that we can... We can do some real damage to a shop. Right, I gotta remember. Probably not a good idea to open with the bull rush. Since the damage gets prevented and everything. So I tried to use the um, the fact that charging the bull rush has the shield out in front of you thing to just block the uh, the ranged attack there, and it did not work. I had assumed it would. Feast for ages. Easy. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Do you see how much damage I did to those guys? I think just, we're doing a lot of damage in general, and it doesn't feel like it's one big attack like it has on the other runs where I have felt like our damage output was really good. This is a combination of a lot of things happening all at once, all of the time. Don't do that. Don't run directly in front of the trap. There he is. All I did was shoot his projectile in the air and make it many more projectiles. That's exactly what I don't want. No going to want all this. <clears throat> yeah, 317. I feel pretty good about a shop at 317. Really? There we go. I was going to say it'd be really cool for some health to drop. And yeah, we, we take a shop at 300 over a pomegranate. Making sure that I didn't miss any pots, though. It feels like the run's going well. Must have slipped. Hell yeah, free food. Just choose not to pay him for stuff right in front of his face. Okay, we are we are at boss fight time. I feel like this is not just a good loadout, but a loadout that in particular should be good in this boss fight. Uh, does it matter at all what order we take these things in? I don't think so. Ooh. Doom effects continuously strike weak foes. Oh, really? Because our, our attack weakens now. Or bonus lo this is not even a consideration, nor is that th yeah. This is amazing. Love and loss. They both suck, it turns out. The one is just a delayed form of the other. Okay, I'm remembering that right, right? Yeah, so anytime we attack, it inflicts weak, and then the weakness causes doom continuously? I'm not 100% clear on how this works. Is it the weakness is going to cause Doom to strike over and over again while the weakness lasts? Or is it that if my Doom goes off on an enemy who is weak, it will strike them? Like, I guess we'll have to play with it a little bit, but I am not going to be able to tell what is happening during the Minotaur fight. I'm going to be panicked 100% of the time. Gentlemen. Uh, you are just in time, fiends from lowest depths. Asterius and I have trained extensively since our last skirmish here. There's no way that's true. So all you do here in Elysium is train for martial competition. You're constantly awaiting your next fight to the death. And who are you to judge, you misbegotten, shameful, unfilial maggot? It is an honor to have the opportunity to spend my afterlife perpetually standing in your ruinous path. Yeah, that's fair. All right, Minotaur first. Yeah. 
I mean, it, in a very real sense, it doesn't matter which of the two ways that Duo Boon works because it is in our best interest to be constantly attacking and throwing our special anyway. See, so ideally the enemy will always be both weakened and doomed. Oh, I thought for a second there that I, I was going to get out of there without him hitting me, I mean. Ah, uh, you coward. That's bad, that's bad. Yep. Ooh. Alright, well, I mean, it's working. Catch. Ooh. 2,500 damage is a lot, it turns out. How did I manage to reclaim the shield without it touching him? I was like right on top of him. I really wish that this was a fight where it was easier to um, to take advantage of the bull rush, but the fact that he is invulnerable from the front a pretty large percentage of the time makes it really hard to know when we're going to be able to do it. Ah, man. Keep getting hit by that. That continuous doom thing is bananas. Turns out Lord Dionysus makes you kind of slow and vulnerable. <laughs> Just like he does in real life. You gotta be really careful with the greater call. I do not want to fire it at a time when it's just gonna get blocked. Ah, damn it. Hey, that's my line. It's not even clever enough to be worth stealing. Why would you do that? Ah, damn it. I don't know. There was no way we were gonna get out of this. With the, with the way I was taking damage at the beginning, there was realistically... No way we were getting out of this without, um... <laughs> without losing a life. That's a lot of damage, man. That's one champion unseated. Ooh, that can crit. I wasn't even really thinking about that, but we have we have purchased the ability for that thing to crit for just a silly amount of damage. Hey, is this pot? Okay, that pot's invincible. Well, shit, I should wear that into battle then. Can we figure out a way to make armor out of these pots? I guess because they're unbreakable, it would be really hard to form them into anything, but I could just... I could just wear one on my head. Sir, the finest of Elysium. They weren't that great. Or we just, like, strap it to my chest? Just have a full... The, I mean, it's gonna impact my freedom of movement for sure, but... Maybe I should switch things up. Uh, do I want to switch things up? Because we could leave this on, and then... There's a lot of pots yet, and also we could we could probably get this, if not leveled, at least close to leveled. Or we could switch to the good old spiked collar. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it running. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. I guess I'm just good. All right. All stuff. Courtesy of the pact. Here's where it gets a little bit more real. Although, honestly, I think our loadout's pretty well suited to dealing damage here. And we are probably going to be able to take more advantage of, um... Of our bull rush shot thing here. Also, in the fight against Zeus. I guess I don't need to be destroying everything, because I'm going to go back to full health when I walk through this door. Okay, so we do... We know that there's a hammer buff that is still good. The, the faster charge on the bull rush would be nice, so that is what we are saving for. I probably don't need to talk to the dog. I just wanted to see if he had anything to say. You know, if the dog had anything to say. Uh, heart first, right? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just get the, the satyrs on the first try. Uh, what's my plan here? It's that. Let's 
Stupid shield, don't hit the wall. Just stay over there and doom them repeatedly. I'm sick. Damn it. All right, I tried to do that the cute way and it didn't really work. <laughs> like, it really didn't really work. I took a bunch of dumb damage there. I, I probably would have been better off just jumping in on him. Oh, I didn't actually kill the first one. I'm having a really hard time throwing my shield and not immediately slamming it into pillars and stuff. It keeps, it keeps bouncing back to me instantly without having dealt any damage, which feels pretty bad. Okay. Uh, look at all of the damage instances, all of the stuff I am doing. Okay. Hopefully we can get some food drops. That's pretty alright. That's a pretty alright strategy right there. Just throw the shield into a corner, run into the corner with them, and just mash all of the buttons until everything dies. Strategy might be a, a big word for what I'm doing. I thought I could thought I could use the dash. Uh, that's a lot of snake stones. Oh, don't have enough god gauge. Maybe I can lure them forward a little bit into the traps. Ow, he just destroyed all the cover. I really thought that was uh, that cover was gonna stick. Uh, this is actually um, pretty dangerous. Okay, go get him. Please don't, please don't go get them by shooting poison garbage all over the floor. Wait, is there, there's still a snake stone up? I thought I, ah, it's actually more than one. Well, this is no good. Also, I just remembered that I have a cast. Damn it, oh, that's not a, that's not a thing in the middle of the room, in front of all the traps. But, uh, what an extremely clever place to put that. Okay. I took a huge amount of damage doing that. This room sucks. Alright. Well, we'll just have to do a lot better now. So we got that first. Any, any health we find from here on will be a little bit more effective. I mean, I'm tempted to go for the money next. I want to try to get to that hammer as soon as possible. I guess that's what we should do. I'm a little concerned, though, that I'm going to end up losing lives doing this. And not that, it, not that it matters in the sense that, like, it doesn't change my strategy because it... I don't... I'm not making any decisions here. Like, all, all we can do is continue to go forward. But it still sucks. Also, poison. Poison still sucks. Man, this, this really sucks. This room with no cover. It feels a little unsporting for them to, uh, I get maybe I could have stood over here. I tried to use these things for cover. He was just too close to the gap. Angle did not work out. Okay, I'm pretty sure that he hit me while I was behind him. How? How am I still... How am I still getting hit by stuff, man? Uh, I thought he was pretty locked in the corner there. No, you don't. Also, I gotta say, one of my, um... One of my pet peeves in video games is the... Your low on health so your screen is going to be flashing red all of the time as though you're constantly taking damage. 
But it would be one thing if we didn't use red flash around the ed edge of the screen to mean you are taking damage. But we do. We do do that, and we have done that for a long, long time. So I, I'm constantly, like, not right now, obviously, because things are pretty clear. But I, when we're actually in combat with enemies, thinking that I am, uh, thinking that I'm getting hit by stuff and panicking and dashing away. You know, it's probably, it's probably just better. You don't need a whole bunch of different visual notifications for the fact that I'm low on health. I have a health bar. I can see it. Well... We're losing a life. There's no... No way. One thing I'm not... I have not noticed. And that would be interesting to know more than, like, strategically valuable. Is when I hit multiple enemies with a single attack, do I get multiple support fire arrows? I can't tell. I think... I think I do. There we go. I managed to get the weak on him. And okay, you do have to... You have to apply Doom to a target who is weakened to benefit from that duo boom. I'm actually pretty annoyed with him being in the middle of the room. Or, uh, not... Sorry, not in the middle of the room. When he's in the middle of the room, it's easy enough to dodge around his nonsense. Every time I move him to the side, it gets a little bit worse. It's possible there are too many enemies in this room. I get what the gimmick is, but it's... It's just a lot. Okay. Try to get him to cast. Okay, there we go. Ooh. All right, I do have greater call available, I suppose. Let me uh, break a shield first. Be my pleasure. Ooh, thanks. Found. Forgetting all about my call. All right, well, we have lots and lots of money now. I guess we'll go buy that hammer thing, and I'm just going to have to commit to losing a life. Uh, there's, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting out of this without losing another life. It's not so bad. I mean, not to undersell the difficulty of the Zeus encounter, but... Like, Honestly, I think we'll be okay. Ooh, I should buy the heart first. Because this will give me 25 current health. Useful. And then we do another... Uh, we do another branch, and if we can get some lucky food early... Could actually be a big deal. Let's go this way. Maybe it's in here. We did, in fact, get some lucky food early. And all of a sudden, I'm at 87 health again, and thinking maybe I can get out of this without losing a life. Not yet. Ah, damn it. Ran out of cast. Look at that. Look at me remembering to use my cast. Also this. Okay. Uh, not a lot of pots left over here. I probably don't want to buy anything. Like, Hydrolite's pretty cool, but I just don't... I don't want to spend the money. Hydrolite is really good, though. No, no, no. I don't want to spend the money. I want to make sure I'm getting my hammer. Holy crap, how can anybody tell what's going on? What is it like to watch this? I kind of have some sense of what's going on because I'm the one pressing the buttons, but <laughs> even in that room, I was only like 30% sure of where I was. That's working out pretty well. I can handle them one at a time. That's not so bad. Right, we're definitely not spending the call, because I'm sure there's going to be another wave. I 
really do appreciate it when they when they decide to spend a bunch of time doing that shaking attack of theirs in a nice big room like this. Pretty sure I should have taken damage there and didn't. I think the game was being merciful. I'm trying to hit him in a way that's not going to put him onto the uh, the trap switch. I mean, at this point, I guess he could hit it. It wouldn't be a big deal. I'm far enough away. I'm not going to take any damage. Ah. Uh, lots of explosives. Lots of explosives and trap parts everywhere. And I can't see the switches, so I don't know if they're about to get hit by enemies. Please, please, Aphrodite, kill one of the pot guys. Can't get out of the corner. Okay. I have got to get rid of these dudes. Okay, there we go. Even one of them being down is just going to make things so much more manageable. Also, I gotta remember I have this. I have so many options. Too many options to use them all well, because I am dumb. Uh, Doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Doom effects deal way more damage. Or attack special and cast deal more damage. I kinda wanna take impending doom. Our doom stuff goes off constantly. I guess that's maybe more of an argument for Dire Misfortune. Let's try it. The War God's power. And we could strip a boon. That's probably worth doing, right? Well, I guess we don't we don't get to choose off from all of them. Let's see. Let's see what the offer is. Maybe one of our, maybe one of the ones that we'll choose is worth losing. Uh, Floodshot, I'm honestly not crazy about. Dash attack and support fire, we are both like 100% for sure keeping. But Floodshot's only going to give us 35 money. I think I'm going to just keep it. It's going to—it's not going to help us that much on the boss fight, but it's going to help us clearing these areas yeah, still. Here, and thanks. 35 is really not a lot of money. How goes it, mate? Thanks for doing business. Uh oh no. We did not get offered the faster bull rush charge. Well. Dash attack hitting in a larger area for even more damage is pretty good. Yeah, I think I like that. Need all the firepower I can get. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go for the pomegranate, because I'm just like I'm really hoping that we're not gonna have to do the other difficult one, but I bet we are. Okay. Please, 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 just let this be the last one. I can't believe I didn't get hit by that explosive, and then I did get hit by the... And then I did get hit by the trap, which has been in the exact same place the entire time we've been in the room. Uh... Okay, one down. Never stop dash attacking. I guess we can temporarily stop dash attack. Alright. Tell me this is the end. Well, okay. It's not conclusively the wrong path yet, though, so that's something. Hundred and twenty seven money. Uh I th I think it would be foolish not to buy the life essence. This is the final chamber of this branch, isn't it? It 
is, I think, now conclusive. This is not the correct path. Well, pretty bummed out about it. Okay, this guy's gotta die first. Okay, ooh. Really? More? It couldn't it couldn't just be over? Oh, we gotta get that satyr. Well, he's down to his red health. I got a little nervous there. I didn't want to stay in anymore because I was not sure I was controlling him still. Ooh. Alright, I love damage bonus to dash attack. Not because I think it is objectively correct to dash attack or anything, but just like the way I play, I am naturally mashing dash all of the time. Good enough to eat. It's nice to be rewarded for the thing you're already doing. Pressure points versus curse of pain. We'd be taking them for the same reason, obviously, because we want the uh we want the great big critical doom damage. I guess consistency is probably important. Uh yeah. I'm grateful yeah. for this. Also, in search of consistency, we have sort of inadvertently made it the case that we uh we have the opportunity to benefit from variance a little bit more. 156 gold. So that's enough to buy nothing, right? Look at all this. Yeah, 250. Okay. So we could probably spend everything at Wells if we encounter Wells on this path. I don't I don't think there's much of a chance we're gonna make it to 250. That's a lot of fun. I don't know if it's fun to watch, but it's a hell of a lot of fun to do. Just dash around and smash everybody up like that. I wish they could all be this easy. What a room. We're already at 195. Maybe we will make it to 250. Yeah, and the pot enemies drop money, it seems like, very frequently. We are absolutely going to make it to 250. Thank you, Support Fire, for killing the other enemy before I even noticed what it was. Oh, I didn't destroy all the pots. There were two pots Should left the there. Place. Oh, thank God. Managed to make it through with the lives oh, intact. In this stuff. Uh, <laughs> this feels like a bad one. This also feels like a bad one. Yeah, weak effects have a longer duration. That probably combines pots. well with our duo boon. We should be able to get back through here. Okay, so now we go buy the pomegranate, and then oh. we're ready for Zeus. And I feel I feel like we are really ready for not Zeus, sorry, Hades. Should help keep me going. I feel like we are <clears throat> on top of this. More damage from cast. Oh, let's take Hunter Dash. That was a two-level pomegranate. Joyfully, the Hound of Hell accepts another Satyr sack. <laughs> Thanks, boy. Bye. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. Maybe. We can maybe absolutely, probably, definitely do this. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. The sea. The heavens and the earth. All of this belongs to my brothers. We are their kin by birth. But we are foreigners in their country. No. No mournful speeches. 
Now get out of my way. See, I was about to say, hey, listen, if you want to just talk this out instead of trying to murder each other. You impertinent brat. Fine. Impulsiveness runs in the family. Shut up. <laughs> Solid comeback there, Zach. Oh yeah, we should actually be way better at breaking the skulls up than we have been in the last couple, or, or the last, the last time we were here. Which I guess isn't a big deal necessarily. I'm having a really hard time getting him with the shield. There we go. So now we got the we got the permadoom on him. Just gotta keep him weakened. Unfortunately, as soon as he disappears, it all falls off. Ah, that's bad. Don't be in that direction. Yeah, I didn't didn't quite actually manage to destroy that skull. I think that my uh, my support fire there destroyed the skull for us while I wasn't wasn't doing a good job of destroying it. It was very helpful. Ooh, I almost got myself hit by the spear. All right, let's try to get rid of the ads before we do the call. I have a ton of health. I'm actually having a really hard time dealing damage to them. Show yourself, Father. Okay, nothing else alive on the field. Eh, I'm closer to him. Okay, good. She did. She did not shoot it at the skull. That was a big concern for me there. What I, I destroyed that. I feel like I got a little cheated on that one. And obviously, it doesn't matter a huge amount if we lose lives here. Although, it'd be good to maybe have some of them going into phase two. Oh my god. Who would have thought Hades would be such a coward? Come on. Okay. I'm not going to get that one. That's fine. We'll just dash into it. No, 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 no. Okay. That's pretty good damage. There's a skull over there that's gonna blow up, and I'm just gonna stay over here. Alright, he should pop pretty soon there. Would you please get doomed? Alright. <laughs> Ares is doing everything in his power. Okay. Not as much health as I would like going into phase two. Damn it! I did dash in the wrong direction. Bad start. Just gonna leave that right there. Make sure to apply the darkness, or the weakness rather. Damn it. Hey, that provided cover against the, the laser last time. The last time he cast it. I got... I got led into some false expe expectations there. Okay, you don't want to break those with the melee attack. I don't think we're going to win this. Just a feeling I have. Try not to get lasered too hard. And I can never tell when he's gonna do the um 
Oh, that's bad. You never tell when he's gonna do the the spear dash or the spear spin. Oh, damn it. I don't even know what hit me at the end there. I dashed through him toward my shield and then just suddenly died. Ah, that's frustrating. I really, I really felt like that was gonna be a win. I did not dodge particularly well in the uh, in the second phase. Father's still up there. Just probably sitting there and gloating to himself over his victory. Hey guys, what's up? Moaning and groaning. I, I don't know. He seemed excited. Hey Achilles, my father's hall back there. I don't suppose you'll let me have myself a look. Lots for me to rummage through, I'm sure. You know I'd do just about anything to aid you, lad. But my ability to do so hinges on me sticking to my post. Though if I do catch wind of anything back there requiring attention, you shall know. Understood, sir. Alright, let's hope that Nyx isn't missing. I did go to all the trouble of saving this thing for her. Oh, um, hi, your highness. I just wanted you to know that if you do get out, I, we, are going to miss you around here. Okay. So, bye! Um, thanks. Zagreus, don't be a dick. Zagreus, good. I wanted to tell you something. Your victories against me, they don't count for anything. Oh, you mean because you're so easy to beat that anyone could do it, I see. Sounds like you've been giving this a lot of thought there, Meg. How do you figure? Nyx's mirror. You couldn't possibly beat me without its help. Or hers. I'm not competing with you, Meg. I'm trying to get past you. To the surface. Call it what you want. You're doing what you have to do. I understand. But you are not stronger than me. You just have more help. Gee, I wonder why that is. Nothing wrong with having help. Got anything good? Alright. Uh, ooh. Hell yeah, ten gemstones for a, an ambrosia. That's awesome. Okay, and then it looks like Nyx actually is out. Well, are there any characters around the house that we could give, um... I guess we should look at the renovation menu. That's a lot of gemstones. Okay. We'll get there. Are there any characters around the house that we could give Ambrosia to that we haven't already given it to? I was kind of hoping Nyx would be in here. Looking good. Oh, it looks like she's just gone. Wait, did I give Skelly... Hold on a second. Uh, no, I haven't. I think. Right, this, these hearts are totally filling up orange based on... Okay. Pretty sure we haven't given it to Skelly, right? Because keepsakes... keepsakes hold power. We have a bunch of skulls, but this one's from Meg. This one's from Karen. Yeah, I will give one to Skelly, and then we'll just hold this other one for Nyx. Because I do, I do want to, first of all, from a mechanical standpoint, see what she would give us. And secondly, I feel bad about, about all of the everything. For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice of you. Just awful nice. But guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand? It deals the deal. Cheers, mate. How lucky could this tooth possibly be? Sorry, sorry, that was a that was an accident. Got something new to try. When you take lethal damage, miraculously survive with fifty health once per escape attempt. So it's a, it's another life. And that the amount of health increases, not the amount of times that it goes off. I mean, that seems okay. So we have two Maybe keys left, and the now, huh? the darkness buff uh, is bringing us in this direction. I think we want to run with Exegriff again. But I don't actually know which one of these I think is cooler. I mean, like, I like the idea of shoot, like trying to take advantage of the special in this way, shooting the special at people, but also trying to be underneath it when it falls on them so you get bonus damage. But 12% bonus damage is not really all that exciting. So maybe this. Just remember to reload manually. 50 extra damage, and then because, because all... Um, Almost all of the attack scaling boons are percentage damage, like having a little bit of extra flat damage on your attack is probably pretty good. Yeah, let's uh, let's go this way for the next run. Yo, look at that. 
that is an appearance. I think it's a little bit less cool than the default look, although it does look a lot like that Zorg gun. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, well we have we have our plan for the next run. I'm pretty bummed out that we just couldn't find Nyx. You know something, Boyo? I think you could do a real number on one of these columns, holding up this place and bring the whole thing down in just a few swipes. Boom, boom, boom! And hate to be standing near one of them if you did. Wreck my father's finely crafted architecture every chance I get. That I can do for sure. Mostly accidentally. Alright. Well, I think that is going to have to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I am bummed out that we did not get the kill. But there's always tomorrow. So come back then. We're going to shoot Hades in the face. And we'll see you then.